welcome in Shabani Joshi, an independent journalist and business analyst. Talk more about um, what may be to come. It's hard to look in this crystal ball at this point, but it doesn't look good, Shabani. President Biden says the gas prices are Putin's fault. Is he shifting blame? Uh, you know, uh, good to see you, Marnie. Um, gas prices and the price that you pay at the pump is the result of many different decisions. It's policy and regulation. It's um, philosophy or, or regulation around uh, drilling. Uh, it includes supply and demand. And then, of course, we've got these sanctions against Russia. All of these things are putting pressure at the pump, and everybody is feeling it. We don't often uh, compare stories about the price of a gallon of milk or the cost of a loaf of bread, but we all commiserate around the prices at the pump. I'm here in the Bay Area and I saw at my local gas station prices rise above $6 a gallon, $6.19. I mean, that was enough for me to gasp. And I think that Americans are really gasping all around this nation. Right. They're starting to have to make some, some pretty difficult choices. Uh, one woman saying having to decide what she chooses for lunch to be able to fill up her gas to get to where she needs to go. So it, it's driving inflation. That's a fact. Um, at what point do people start to run out of patience, though, and push for some other options? Yeah, you know that you bring up a fair point, Marnie. What we also have is different tolerance levels and sensitivity levels to rising gas prices. If you live in an area um, where you have access to public transportation, you feel it less. If you are in a different income bracket, a middle or a higher income bracket, you feel it less. So this is really something that is going to be felt by uh, poorer populations, people without access to um, to public transportation. But what we do know is is that a lot of Americans have a lot of money. Still saved up and what they will end up doing is that instead of taking that vacation that they've been wanting to take for the last couple of years instead of buying a new pair of shoes they're going to end up putting it into the necessary uh, expenditure of getting to work and dropping their kids off at school and so what you're going to see is just money get diverted and what we do know from the pandemic is people saved a lot of money um, but what you don't want to have happen is all of it go to gas money you want it going all across the economy and we're going to get some uh, sense of how hard it is hitting Americans tomorrow when we get the CPI, the Consumer Price Index reading tomorrow, which we think is going to be at uh, another high level. Mm -hmm. And another indication of how things are doing. Talk about the effect all of this is having on the markets and different sectors. Yeah, you know, what you did see today is that ga uh, oil is down and stocks are up because what gas prices end up doing is taking money directly out of the consumer's pocket. And consumer spending accounts for two-thirds of overall economic activity. So when you start to see gas prices or at least the pressure on oil decrease, that is a better sign for consumers, which is a better sign that they're going to end up spending money in different areas on the new uh, Apple iPhone that's out or other different uh, or other consumer products. And that has a positive impact on stocks. But uh, anyone that's been following the markets knows that it's been a wild ride. We've seen stocks off 20% from the highs back in November. Uh, it's, it's basically uh, time to buckle up and tighten your seatbelts because we know that gas is going to be on a wild ride. Stocks are going to be on a wild ride. And the Fed hasn't even done anything to interest rates yet. So this is certainly going to be uh, an interesting year in the markets. Boy, interesting to say the least. And every dollar counts. Shabani. Joshi, uh, great to see you. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.